Yo, I'm DGP Coaching and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how I made a distorted 808 sound like this one. So, this is the sound we're focusing on. So I've done a little bit of automation on this, as you can tell, there's a little bit of EQ and stuff like that um, automating over time. But the general gist is, so there's a, there's, a, there's a concept behind this sort of sound. It's really easy to make, but the idea is basically you need to have a sub, uh, a sine wave and a noise oscillator over the top, and then you distort them both together. And it creates that grungy sort of distorted noise sign like it's basically noise with a note behind it um so oh seize the day apparently um yeah so this first one um it's literally it's a group of three different sounds so it's uh this one here which is like the body of it the main one the one with the sub in there as well now usually I'd cut this up and I'd have a separate sub um, and I probably still will do that um, just to clean it up a little bit but this is the concept anyway. So I've got two uh, split up here, I've got a sign uh, serum and I've got a noise serum. Um, very basic, I put them both together, give them a bit of utility, I brought them down a little bit because I put so much saturation on there. Um, but this is what it sounds like without the processing so you can tell it's just a sub and noise um put that on there just lowers it down a little bit uh phaser put a bit of phasing on there that helps with the sort of i can change the tonality of this um and it changes quite a lot of the sound um not now obviously uh when i put the saturator on um all i did is put hard curve um, hundred percent wet and drive on about plus 25 TB. Um, so it's crushing it through. Um, and I'll just slowly attenuate this dry wet now so you can hear it coming. I mean, it's, let me dra drag the, uh, drive down instead. Yeah. So it's really crunching through. Um, and then I've got an EQ on there to sort of clean up little bits and bats uh, around 100 hertz just to bring uh, just to bring it down so that the kick uh, the punch of the kick gets through a little bit better um, curled off that low end super low end anyway we don't need the super duper low end um, and I've shelved off the high end as well because as I'll get into later um, layering is super important um, so this is what this bit sounds like Um, and then what I've done is I've copied it over um, and I've made another version exactly the same a uh, little bit less saturation um, and I've EQ'd it so that it's just the sort of high mids um, ah, sorry about that um, and so it's going to punch through a little bit better it's basically the mids uh, it's like um, the extra body to the sound um, so this is what it sounds like by itself you know, quite just middly, I guess it's the, it adds a bit of tonality, a bit of uh, body. Um, and then I've brought it down, uh, probably about 7 dB down from the original sound. Um, and then what I've done is I've got a version of this first one where I've cut everything out under there. So it's just this area sort of coming through. And then I've resampled it in as audio. Um, and I've basically used that as the high end, uh, the really crispy side. Um, and I've not put anything on there because the saturation was already on there before. So I've put that really loud. So it's right in your face, close up. Um, and the rest of it sort of sits back. 
um, and it, it, it creates a sense of um, of more intensity in the sound. Um, I've also put a tremolo on there that slowly sort of attenuates over time. This is a really good tremolo, it's free, um, and I use it every time I use a tremolo, I'll use this. And you can hear that sort of just sort of slowly start to sh 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 over time. And that sort of builds, adds a bit more rhythm to it and uh, builds a little bit more tension to the next section, uh, this little bit here. Um, and then I've got it all grouped up together. On the group, um, I've put some glue compression on there. So without it, it's going to sound like this. And then you put the glue compression on there, bring the threshold down. So it's, it's basically lowering a dynamic range. And then I'll put some makeup on about 11 dB of makeup. And that just brings some warmth, some, some really glues it all together. Basically. Um, then this EQ is just doing a little bit of automation, but most of it, it's mostly for this intro bit before the drop, so I've got the sub drop there, not in, and then the sub comes in, um, and I've got a bit of side chain on there as well, um, and that is it. That's how you make that sound. Um, if there's any other sounds you want to know, uh, you want to know how it's made, then I will do. Um, this is quite an easy one. Um, I also highly recommend watching Stranger's video about this. Um, as he's really useful, you know, uh, he does some great tutorials. Um, but all of them are great, actually, not bad. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to play this a little bit again so you can hear this sort of build up um, and, you know, how this how this all works in relation to the sounds. Um, so here we go. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm still doing one-to-ones uh, personalized towards your goals and your needs and your wishes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want any more information about what I do, the way I'm, my music, um, or how I teach, or what I teach on, anything like that, reviews, go check out the link tree uh, link in the description below. And you'll find everything you need for my personal stuff and my teaching side as well. Um, much love. Thanks for watching. Recommend me to your friends. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that lovely stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.